And we are live, broadcasting live. And uh, Archie Basher Boy is online. And Wayne was there all also. And Shepherd of Fire was there a little while ago. Uh, good evening, guys. And good morning to some of you. Uh, like uh, Jack, you're out in Australia. And for you, it's morning? No, it's 1, 1 p.m. Oh, it's lunch afternoon. Time. Lunch time, yeah. That's true. Oh, we have Jack monitoring the chat, which is good. Like that, if I slack off, then uh, he can pick up. And we have Keegan, Keegan, Green Frog RC, that's on there also. So we'll wait a little bit about um, till more people get into the chat, um, into the window, and maybe into the video. And then we can touch base on uh, some of the stuff I saw or some of the email I received about um, uh, Black Friday. So basically, I want to see from you guys if you've seen some real savings. Uh, because for the past couple of years, the only thing I see in real savings are saving on TVs. Um, TVs and plasma. Well, there's no more plasmas now. Uh, but LCDs and um, LEDs, that's where the saving is. Uh, some gaming stuff, but uh, not a lot. I see a lot of big saving on the RCs. What have you noticed, Jack? Oh, as I just told you before, offline, um, I was on uh, Hobby King and just went through some of the stuff that they got. I mean, look, they got some good discounts on a few things here and there. Parts and stuff, batteries. Actually, they got, if people want batteries, I mean, I used to get my batteries from there. I stopped buying batteries because I got so many batteries, but um, they got a, uh, I think, uh, 20 to 50% off, I think, on batteries. So if anyone wants lipos and that, go to Hobby King and have a look because their sales on. Uh, I did see. When I was in there, uh, once there's, there was one sale that only had like three hours to go. So I suppose you've got to get in there quick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But did you notice uh, any real big savings? Um, they had some things. I looked at the cars uh, and see what they had. Um, it's mainly on the bottom line sort of of their cars, um, not the higher-end sort of cars, you know, like the Basher King and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there was a couple of crawlers that they had, which are smaller scales, and they had like, I think, $30, $30 off or something like that. But, um, uh, I, you know, there was too much too much to go for anyway. But uh, um, parts and all that sort of thing, yeah. batteries, um, I haven't gone to anywhere else. Hi, okay. honey, Lulu, Lewis, how you going? Bill, how you going? And uh, what about you, Kagan? Did you notice any uh, specials going on? Your mic is muted. Mostly a Best Buy electronics. Best Buy electronics, yeah. That's what I've seen a lot uh, in the past few years anyways was more on the electronics and less on the hobby stuff. Yep. I don't know if it's because the margin is so little on it. I don't know. Hey, Brig in silence. Wayne's there. Honey Lulu. Louis, uh, Louis. LPRC's there. Says he took a break from painting. Steve has said, letters on tires. That's time consuming. Steve has, did you still get that gift from Steve O? <laughs> <laughs> the link to join uh, is in the discussion here. You can try that link. Uh, if not, you can find it on the Tank RC on the Facebook. Uh, so, Facebook is the Tank RC. And also on Google, um, you'll find the link to actually join in on my profile. So, let's start sharing the screen and see what I 
saw. Shepherd of Fire made it in. Cool stuff. Hey, Shepherd of Fire. What's your name again? Your, uh, if you don't mind saying it, what's your real name? Mine? Yeah, your name. What should we Josh. call it? Josh. A lot yeah. of Josh on the RC stuff. You find? Yeah, lots of Joshes. Hmm. I wonder what have happened to Josh Hanna. Don't know. Trying to find a good place to put this down. Yeah, I just took the fan off my uh, VXL 3S. Why'd you take the fan off? It was broken? No, it's not broke. It's just, uh, I'm afraid running it in the snow, it's going to get wet and they're not waterproof. Okay. Cool. Did you see any cells yeah. going on? Any good cells? No, I haven't, on? uh, haven't really been looking around that much, but from what I've seen, no, there's nothing. Okay. Cool. So let's go through some of the emails I received today um, with the links, anyways, of uh, what people had uh, on sale. So without further ado, let's get on to this website. Horizon Hobby, here's a perfect deal I saw. You can save up to $300 off. Now, $300 off, that's probably on their biggest, biggest kit. Other than that, yeah. I don't think there's a lot of uh, savings. Sometimes they do mention like 519 and 349 Okay, that's a good sell. So basically, when you go to the Horizon Hobby, there is a bunch of stuff there um, that are on sale. Here's the Lozy. Which is this is a new one. This is uh one ninety nine, which is not bad because that's back down at the price where I paid it Canadian actually when I first bought my Lozy uh, Mini Eight. This is the Truggy one. This one has a longer wheelbase and that one has AVC, uh, advanced uh, traction control. So uh, that's a nice little part for one ninety nine actually. Yeah, it's a pretty nice little uh, little machine. I think there are. I think lazy, lo, lossy, lazy, whatever you want to call it, is overpriced. Well, for one ninety nine, it's not that bad because this, this this is a fun truck. This is a blast. But when you compare it to World Toys or whatever, yeah, it's probably a little bit more pricey. But well, that, well, that's what I find. Lossy and Team Associated, they're just whatever. Right. Yeah, but they're 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 considered as race vehicles. Uh, mm. Everybody in racing, they basically have those. Mm. Uh, Honey Lulu says Walmart has a new bright on sale for kids <laughs> and grown ups. Yeah, there's a um, Canadian Tire and Walmart uh, Canadian Tire here in in Canada. That's a place where we buy some stuff. Uh, they have RCs also, just like Walmart, and uh, they're they're pretty much on sale right now. Uh, somebody's picking one up. Uh, I think it was under fifty bucks, so it, it's pretty good sell. There, there's a team associated. The only thing I don't like about team associated is um, all the hardware is actually uh, not metric; it's a, a standard. Mm. Mm. So uh, because it's a uh, material, yeah. yeah, it's imperial. Sorry. Thanks for straightening, putting me straight there, Jack. Yeti. Oh, this is a good price. Is that the Rock Ray? No, the Yeti. Oh. Two forty nine. That's that's US dollars then for your tank. Yes, I know that. But still pretty good price compared to five forty nine. Money mm. Yeti is, is getting in like an old truck. So, mm. so that's yeah. what they have. Uh but uh the deal shop, the Rockstar. Man, I know it's US, US money, but the Rockstar is pretty cheap. Yeah. So see this. I don't. I don't think the Honcho was ever that price. Five forty nine. That's way too expensive, and it's now on sale for three three twenty nine. I don't believe that. 
The, the honcho was a little cheaper than that. Yes, the Yeti XL was expensive when it came out. Down out. Now it's a little bit uh, less. Eight ninety nine when it came out here. Yeah. So that that's at the. Um, there is some savings, but for me being in Canada and what's going on with the U.S. right now, uh, this is where this is kind of screwy. Uh, the one tenth Yeti four wheel drive is four twenty nine. It's actually cheaper, uh, more expensive than the other one. It doesn't make any sense. No. Nope. And see this. There must be a mistake somewhere. Certainly. That's yeah, practically what? Two hundred, two hundred difference. Five forty nine. Two four. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Up my uh, mic's down quality. Is it coming through? All right. Yep. There's a lot of noise, though. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes there's kind of the white noise. So, the only good cell special, I think, is this Yeti XL, which is a bigger unit than the Yeti. Maybe they're clearing the shelves of them. They won't produce them anymore. Or something. Down on some stuff. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Why would the XL be cheaper than the other one? I don't know. Clear. The brushless system was close to two hundred dollars. I would assume. Mm. Yeah. Then for the power station just there, so doesn't make any sense at all. They're probably clearing them up so they don't. Get, they're not going to make them anymore. Well, that the the uh, X cell runs on six S, doesn't it? Hey guys, you hear me? Yeah, yep. it's on, it's on oh, six S. That's why it's on special. This item is no longer available. Yep. Sold out. <laughs> I mean, you you called it. Sold out. Hey, Zach? Yeah. How are you, Zach? I'm good, you? Not too bad. And then we have Hobby Wings. Hey, Greenbrier, how are you doing? Hi, people. Sorry to interrupt. My name is Jay. Um, oh. I'm just going to keep quiet in the back and let this do go chat. I saw your blue screen, but you didn't put two and two together. Hi, Jack. Are you showing? Actually, is a question. Can I shoot out? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. Yeah. Right ahead. Is my video showing? Yep. Did you yep. put a trailer? Okay. Yeah, you're the one with the trailer and the blue truck. Yep. Uh, it's a rustler. Oh, okay, it's a real drive rustler. Cool. Yeah, when when you guys can, I'd love to uh, take the floor for like two minute sessions to go over my rigs if oh, I can. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead right now. We'll take a break of talking chit chat. Uh, I usually take the floor when nobody has anything to say, but uh, go ahead. You're new here, and uh, the floor is yours. You gonna rephrase that tank? Cool. What do you mean? I, I often have nothing to say. No, yeah, really? <laughs> really? With the floor being mine, I wonder if I should take them, my rigs off of the floor. Do what you have to do. But be, uh, I have the power to kick you out if ever you show something that's not nice. No, word. I'm an old school hangouts dude. I uh, cool. you know how it all works. This is not that kind of hangout. Oh, uh, let's go over there like this. Um, this trailer was a really quick, easy make. I described to you guys once on the last or a couple shows ago. Yeah, it's the um, what's nice about it is it, it comes with suspension, right? So you get the suspension out of it. It's just a chassis of uh, WL toys or something. Cool, uh, cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, Maybe. these bins. You can find them online or you can go to like shipper stores. They're they're for parts bins. They're little plastic parts bins that are stackable. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, stackable um, stack, stack bins. Yeah, that's a good idea. I cut cut it down. Oh. Like, they they come in all kinds of sizes, right? So, yeah, that's cool. How you put the suspension on it? Well, it was just so easy, right? Like it's just a bin screwed down onto the, ch the chassis of a cheap crap toy. And you made a hole in the center for the shock tower. That's cool. Yeah, that needed to protrude through. Um... Very clever. Cheap, easy. Cool. Uh, this is Fassel. my... Did you agree, really Fassel? If you were closer, I'd pick up that uh, Yeti XL 400 bucks from you. But you're a little too far. Go ahead, sorry. No worries. Um, I already said what, what this is on, but I mean, you're looking at it, what do you think it is? Tank, you have to talk to JD. Like what brand? I uh, say that's an SCX-10. Yeah, I think that's an SCX-10 also. Yeah, totally the look I was going for. It's a, it's a Red Cat Everest. It's modified everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just did everything myself, totally on the super cheap. Uh, most notably, extending the chassis or the frame. Cool. And you good. can do all kinds of frame modification with banding steel, banding straps. You yeah. know, when it, you buy lumber and stuff, it comes banded and yes. banded steel. You can. Um, That's a good idea. You can use that in rivets to really rivet some stuff together. Uh, the thing that I wanted to show, I'm almost done. There's nothing really all that special about uh, I think it's a 13 and a half inch wheelbase that I've got down to or whatever. It's pretty big, actually. And you, um, hold, you got magnets to hold your body down? Uh, the body actually just goes with side pins. Side pins, okay. The quick tricks that I like to show are the um, Tupperware wheel wells. Yeah, I use those also. Uh, milk carton floor pan kind of thing, and just more random plastic usage, right? To make a, I don't even know what that's called, a tunnel. Yeah. Now your guy doesn't have his foot, right? No, he's got nothing below the waist. Yeah. So that's no no spare point for your driver. Even though you have a driver, you will not get the No, no. no. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got nothing now. That's it. Well, I got the wrestler, but uh, it runs 4S. Fun. That's nice. Yeah, I it's basically a one eighth. I was able to fit a one eighth motor in there. Oh, uh, did you build that cage or you bought that cage? I bought that. That's an in into G cage. Cool. What well, that twenty two hundred, twenty six fifty, or fifteen fifteen? Twenty six fifty. Okay. Like fake cap or whatever, whatever that means. What do the uh, the numbers mean on there? The kilovolt. That's the KV. That's uh, how fast it is. Yeah. Well, it's the top RPM. Okay, so like, which one's better to have, like a lower KV rating or higher? Uh, uh, lower, that's the same as quadcopters. It depends on uh, something else. Uh, lower KVs you have for the bigger trucks, like 1.8 scales. Okay, so it's like more torque. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, I use pretty high numbers in my 110s. I use 5,900 KV to 7,700 KV. Yep. But for the um, bigger heavy duty, you go lower KV. Like yeah, 2,200 to 90. Most 1.8 scales come out stock around 2,000 KV, 2.2, two, two, something like that. Yeah, my uh, my HPI Savage here, the one I have the, the 1.8 Lux. That has the, I'm pretty sure, 2200 in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they have something like that. Yeah, the yeah, behemoth my, I'm working on tonight runs a 1900. It's my uh, low seat LST double XL. Oh, yeah. Normally runs nitro, but I put the electric conversion on it because it makes too much noise. Neighbors yeah. don't like gas, so. Yeah. Electric it is. So if you want. How far away are your neighbors? 
if you want, you can you can look at this chart real quick because you have turns. This is a turn, and then you have KV. So mm. basically, if you if you have a uh, thirty-five turn motor and and so on, uh, it it would be down here. This chart I uh, just found. I just Google KV to turns turns to KV, and it gives me uh, what what this is. No. So you can see it like a Mamba Max is about the same size as a 5.5 and a 21 turn. This is what you get on the uh, Rustler or whatever, like when it's just a 21 turn. And that's around the 2100 kV. I'll try to find a better chart than that. That actually shows a 35 turn. Yeah, I think for the like the one ten scale, three uh, thirteen point five turn is usually about the average. Yeah, three thousand three hundred kV to three thousand five hundred. Like that. Well, I thought of something else I wanted to show you guys. Go ahead. Um, I don't know if you guys ever wanted to do the four wheel steering thing, um, but didn't have the extra channels on your radio, or just had a cheap radio receiver system. Like only you know one two, um, you can actually still use your like you could have both servers set up to run all the time, and then you can add a switch so that you can actually physically turn off the front or the rear, whichever you wire it up. Mine is the rear, mm -hmm. so you can still have like the ability to do two wheel drive, but once you turn nice. off that servo, then it turns. Right, it's not a locked, so you can rig little systems to, to like lock your rear end, lock the server. I mean, on the rear end. Yep. I don't know if that's really helpful. When you lock it, though, you have to unplug your servo. Pardon? When you lock it, you have to unplug your servo. Well, the the thing that I need to do now is just I can unplug and plug in the servo on the switch. Okay, so you have it on the switch. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Which is super handy because, like, yeah, throw the switch, unlock the uh, the linkage, and then your four, your uh, your four wheel drive, or lock it, lock up the rear steering linkage, throw the switch, and now your two wheel drive. Cool. That's one. I really enjoyed this, uh, this little Everest ten with the extended chassis that I did. Um, just an awesome chance to do everything yourself. Like, if you want, like, buy custom parts and stuff, why not start? If you're going to replace everything on a truck, why buy the most expensive truck? You can, right? so I, I bought a really cheap, the cheapest crappy truck. I'm still rolling with all the SC SCX10s and GX4 and all that. Heck, I didn't even buy a truck. I just built it. Nice. Yeah, so you got lots of money. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Builders kit is coming out. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. You bought your RC four wheel drive parts, parts by parts. <laughs> it's really more expensive. True, true. I did pay more for my truck than I would an RTR, but at least it looks perfect yeah. the first time. But it's custom. Good eye, Ethan. He's Hello. Sitting there. Why am I? Hey, we have Ethan that just jumped in. Hey, Ethan. Sorry, guys in the chat. I have not been following. Hi, Ethan. How's it going? I'm doing good, you? Uh, doing pretty good. So, Ethan did a cool little video today. He built the um, his um, roll bars at the back of his uh, trail finder. Oh, yeah, that is sitting here. Um, Will it be cold by now? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's focusing or not. Yeah, just show it against the black background. Yeah. Go better. Yeah. But this is the one for the trail finder here. I can show it in the bed. Um, it just barely sticks up above the cab like you'd normally expect. Cool. And then I also did one for the Tamiya Cloudbuster Chevy bodies. Yeah, which is going to be the Like this. 
Oh, it's all white. It's not gonna show up, is it? You see it on the reflection. Hey, uh, Ethan, change, have you got lighting behind you? I got this light right here. Does that help? Yeah, out? maybe, maybe don't. Right there, yeah, don't shine the light too much on it. It's reflecting. Yeah, I can't shut off the bright light above me. If I shut that one off, I got no light. But... Yep. The lighting's fine. Let me, uh, oh, same here. What's the roll cage made out of again? Uh, they're all aluminum. Aluminum. So this, the base what kind of welder do you use for that? A TIG welder? Uh, no, it's actually brazing. What you do is you brazing. use like this, like map gas. Aluminum. Easy, right? Um, if you want, go to my channel and you just watch the live stream today. It basically covers the what I know about brazing. Mm -hmm. And and the type of rod he used also. Because you do have to use the type of rod. Yeah, this is called a Luma weld. Is what yeah, I use what I for. Use also here. And then um, the only other thing I do different than you normally would is this is solid rod instead of tubing. Just for the fact that the tubing is just so difficult to bend in aluminum yeah. because it just kind of kinks and collapses. So the rod is just much easier to use. Yeah, without a yeah. Bender. Use a butane yeah. torch for that? Do I use a torch to bend it? Uh, no, to braze, it's a butane. Oh, well, I you, you can. Map. This propane does get hot enough for some joints, but usually I stick with the map gas just because it's hot enough to do the whole thing, whereas the propane, it's only hot enough to do specific joints. Yeah. And the map right. is hot enough for aluminum. It's, it's way hot enough for aluminum. Golden information here. Awesome. Yeah, the map gas, you got to be careful not to get it too hot. Yeah. Because you can melt the aluminum, but with the propane, it just doesn't get hot enough for some of these joints. So I just stick with the map gas and try to keep myself under control, I guess. I always wanted to get into that. I'm just afraid to blow my hands up with the canister. Oh, no, it's not that bad. I've never used that. I've always, I've always stuck to like little handheld torches, really small. You put a lighter in them. Uh, oh, you but next step, these are pretty small little map gas or propane tank like that. It's a pretty small little dude. Yeah, I want to look into brazing because I got bumpers to make for uh, my tow truck build. I want to make a custom bumper in the front. <laughs> Figure it out. When you say brazing, I assume you're talking oxy and acetylene. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's yeah. just a lot of practice. I would recommend practicing on stuff that you don't have a lot of money into. Yeah, I've braised before with brass. I've done a few bumpers in brass, but never in aluminum. Yeah, I did. I started with brass, too. So you want to make sure you get this aluminum weld stuff, and you got to get it a lot hotter to use the aluminum. So you got to be. At first, when I came over from brass into aluminum, I was melting the aluminum a lot because I was getting impatient with how long it was taking to heat up. So I turn the flame up, but then when you turn the flame up, it heats up too fast, and then it gets out of control. Right. Yeah, I asked uh, Pardon My Noob on Scale Builders Guild what to do, and he gave me a pretty good link to what I need, so I'm going to pick that up and give it a try. Yeah, I mean, I'm no professional, but uh, in the middle of my live stream, we did a test on one of my old uh, rock sliders. It's probably sitting right here. This is... Uh, I could not break this joint right here. See, it was all kind of wonky and bent up. And this is a joint that yeah. didn't get enough heat into it, so there wasn't any bonding. But this joint is an example of something I got too much heat into it because the aluminum actually started to melt. But it is strong, so. Cool. Well, let's get back to the cells. What's on sale real quick? And uh, if you guys come up with good deals, let us know. Uh, right now, Hobby King has a whole bunch of different uh, sell. And uh, their sell actually starts tomorrow. So it's actually got a countdown for the cyber sell. Everything must go. So here we go. We have three hours left to do to go until uh, the cyber sale starts. So it looks like they're going to be selling a lot of stuff. So 
go wait in line, and as soon as the midnight hits, the internet's going to crash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Asia Tees, my buddies at Asia Tees. Uh, so they 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 have two things. Um, uh, they do have some sales um, at Asia Tees. Uh, I didn't notice too much yet, unless they are coming going to come out tomorrow. But Boom Racing does have um, uh, Black Friday with this code. You take fifteen uh, percent off of your entire order. So no matter what you have, you take fifteen percent off. Oh, I've never cool. ordered from those companies to ship into Canada. I'm just not sure of the uh, shipping costs. I don't know if I'm going to pay more or what. Oh, it's not that bad. I went through the shipping and I bought some stuff from Asia Tees, uh, which is basically the same, almost the same thing as Boom Racing, same company. Uh, and the shipping is, is just as good as um, the U.S. companies. I never had any problems. All right, so it won't cost more if I order from there. Like, I don't know, an order is 200 bucks. It won't come up to four or 500, like my uh, mm-hmm. friends here are telling me. It, it actually tells you, you enter your, um, you enter your uh, uh, postal code, and it's going to tell you right off the bat what you want to pay. It's either by email, it's going to be the cheaper, uh, or by um, uh, UPS or D- DHL. Um, but then when you start going FedEx or DHL, it's then it starts getting more expensive. Currently, the cheaper option might get hung up because it could end up in Canada Post. Yes. And- oh, they, they're <laughs> looking at the they, they announced on the news that the government is putting a line that uh, they have to get back to work. So uh, hopefully by Monday, everything should be back to normal. Good. I, I feel stickers bad. got uh, came late. Yeah. So uh, they're having a sale, shop now. So when you click on shop now, uh, it actually brings you on the items that are on sale. So you can go cars, drones, uh, there's a bunch of accessories. So if I go on cars, there's a cars. So 380 for that one, 406 regular. There again, I think this one, the Deadbolt, was on sale a lot, like in the 350s a little while back in the U.S. So, oh, this is Canadian right now. Sorry. I wonder if I can put my thing in the Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar. Come on. Let's put U.S. dollars. That's what I like about this site. It actually gives you how much it, it actually costs um, for Canadian or U.S. There we go. Two, 280 U.S. Crazy when you put U.S. dollars to Canadian dollars. Yeah, today I went back and forth looking for a low C Baja rate. It's not six hundred bucks here. Which one are you looking for? The ten scale or the, or the six scale? The ten scale. Yeah, the six is way too much. Like a thousand eight hundred, a uh, thousand. Excuse me, a thousand one hundred here. To that much? Yeah, yeah. That's a great hobbies. That costs a fortune there. Oh, when I was looking on Horizon Hobby, I, th- I thought they said like four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, it U.S. it's four fifty. Canadian is six hundred twenty-six on Horizon. Oh. Cool. Yeah, well, I want to build a B.J. Baldwin replica Toyota truck, and that that's the perfect base. Oh, that was you who posted that. That was me who posted that on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, we also have ProLine sent out a whole bunch of emails today about uh, they are going to have a sale uh, tomorrow. But I love some of the new tires that they actually came out this week with. Um, and if it shows on this email, these guys, the Hoiser tires, 2.3 in short course truck, they look fantastic. Even the first, uh, the front, the, for the front ones. It's it's nice and thin for the two wheel drive. It looks like a nice tire. Yeah, it does. And uh, basically, it's they made it for this guy, this guy. But a lot of people are going to use it for other things. It's a nice looking tire. Oh, that's cool. Check this out, dude. Check this out. He says. Twelve S five P. I think. Hold on. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys these crazy electric speed controls called Fox Box. From what, a boat? 
No, this is like a four, three, four thousand dollar Canadian electric skateboard. It's crazy. It's not mine. Oh, skateboard. Fuck boxes, they're called. I, th- I think they're like 120 amp ESCs or some shit. They're ridiculous. Right. Not for any kind of normal RC application, but uh, cool to know about. Cool. Yes, yeah, Steve, I'm here, mate. So you're saying everyone's the youngest, I'm the oldest. <laughs> so they have some nice tires that they came out, new rims, uh, new scale tires. So there's a bunch of stuff that uh, they've started making again. And Shapeways. Uh, you can actually save some money on Shapeways uh, this week. 50% off your prints. So anything you want, uh, if you can send your own prints there, they'll make it for you. Or you can go through their catalogs and print uh, some stuff. So it's uh, pretty nice what you can do at Shapeways. 50% off of everything? 15% off, yeah. Your models. You use the made for holidays code. 15%. Cool. And uh, we're back I think you see you got the mail from, Steve. Eh? I wonder who you got mail from, mate. Oh, <laughs> Steve got a mail? Did you get my stickers? Yeah. No, nah, nah, I know who he got his stickers from. Because <laughs> if you read what he says, he goes, I'm going to post it all over social media. I wonder who. I wonder. I didn't know you guys were live. You know, it was he's on every every week, uh, every Friday at uh, what time you start over there? Tank nine o'clock or whatever. Yeah, Thursday night, Thursday night at nine. That's my normal time. Thursday you night at know. nine, we have you our show. Steve, go to my YouTube uh, Facebook page, Steve. You'll see a link, or scroll up, you'll see a link to join if you want to join in. That's if you're in your garage and not on your living room. Big belly, you just got home. No, I didn't post it. I said I should post it all over just for you. Let me guess. RC Spark sticker. So easy to guess that one. (laughs) Hey, you don't have to post it for me. You post it for everyone else. Just a sticker, bro. I got the best sticker on my wall. That's from a guy called RC FPV Vids. That's correct. You posted it. That's right, because they're a collector's item now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have any of you guys uh, heard from Troy in a while? Yes, I did. I heard it from him today. He was actually supposed to come in. I talked to him a little bit today, and uh, he was actually supposed to come in, but he went outside to do some uh, yard work, fell on his back, and he's very, very sore right now. So he said he was going to go lie down and he couldn't join them. But uh, hopefully he'll be here next week. Ah, uh, that's too bad. So he won't be working on the trailer because he hurt his back. Back. So honey, Bulu, no trailer for you. No sneak peek this week. I don't know about you guys, but this time change we have right now makes 6 o'clock at night feel like close to midnight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what time is it for you now? Hey, do any of you guys have an HPI Savage? Nope. Okay, well, nope. any HPI truck at all? Like yeah. Basher truck? Oh, I got yeah. this print too. I have a Savage. How is the... Uh, I don't know if it's the same as the electric one, but how does the uh, the clutch work on it there? The clutch no, pads. The electric one. No, I, how how does your clutch work? Is it a normal slipper clutch? I have a uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then how how do you replace the uh, clutch pads? You just like a normal clutch. You you take it apart. You take the nut off. Take the spring off, and then you take your pressure off, and then it, it's it's all part. If you're not sure, go to HPI. They all have the manuals. You just download the manual, and they'll teach you step by step. Just go on YouTube. Okay. Just type it in on YouTube. There should be some tutorials. Yeah, on I did, it. but I didn't find anything. Ah. 
Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because I went on, it... on there and I looked for a manual for the Savage and I got everything. I don't know. I haven't uh, haven't checked there. Okay. Yeah, because it's not the same as uh, the normal Traxxas stuff that I'm used to. Uh, looks like Barsher Boy uh, has a excess Savage, so it's a small guy. And not only has he got an excess Savage, but he's got, I think, excess alcohol in his body after tonight. <laughs> 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 right, Gabs? I, Too much I, on the I, turps tonight, brother. I, I would show you my Savage, but um, uh, Jack always say every time we talk about something, I bring oh, up my and, and I and I show off my RCs. That's just because people tank, want to see it. So tank, I'm not going to show it because there's not what. Tank, okay. Just keep hosting, mate. <laughs> Get out, Savage. Get yeah, speaking it. of uh, drinking, uh, like uh, ten people got busted at my school today for uh, having alcohol. Oh really? Ten people uh, at the school got busted. Yeah, because it's a uh, it's a holiday here. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Full of tacos. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Cool here around me, uh, people go in there with alcohol. Like kids, they don't care, you know. I'm joking, by the way. It's so lawless here; it's insane. Yeah, but you're up in the mountains. You're up in the mountains, the, the hair is thinner, so uh, you get drunk faster. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but G well, Gab's the same, Basher Boy, he's saying that he's, he would come on the stream, but he's had a bit too much terps. It was on the terps tonight. So, uh, just as well, uh, Gab's, if you came on the stream, mate, you'd be talking for seven hours. <laughs> That's a long time to talk. Yeah. Well, did you did see his last live stream? I'm actually joking with you. He knows what I'm talking about. His last live stream was over seven hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some people get carried away. Oh, well, he had a lot of RCs to talk about. Yeah. He's got so many RCs, I couldn't believe his bed was full. Yeah, he's got a he's got more than I do because I think we talked about it the other day. And uh, I said I got maybe 35, and they said that he's got about 40 or mo even more than that. I can't remember how much he has. Yeah, no, nah, he's uh, – one thing I'll uh, – there's a trademark with Basher Boy. I'm starting to sound like uh, Jack, aren't I, Tank? There's a, there's a uh, trademark with uh, Basher Boy, Gabs. The building and his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right. Do I, guys, sound, do I uh, sound clearer now, um, Steve O.D.? I must sound way clearer. And there was no background noise or anything. I got myself a cute little arm here, so I can actually adjust the mic and hey, like it's uh, not ready to RC talk. Two dollar microphone. No, no, that's a an NKG microphone. I, I can do like uh, what's what's really popular in, in YouTube these days is the whisper, whisper. Uh, ASMR. Yeah. ASMR. Yeah. Yeah, I just got ton of notifications for it. Forty-seven RCs. Oh yeah. Jeez. Forty-seven. Oh, not far from me. I got forty-four. How many you got? Uh, I have three. I got forty-four. 47. I got three. I stopped counting at 35. Oh my god. Well, I don't have I got eight counting my brothers. I got five. Hey guys, I think I gotta take off for the night. My phone's uh, gonna die on me. I don't got a charger with me right now, but just wanted to stop in and say hello. No, it's Josh. And if I send you some money for PayPal, do I send it at the email that you sent me an email to the other uh, couple? Uh, oh, was that uh, uh, was no. That's email it. email me when you're ready, and I'll send you a PayPal request through your email. Okay. Uh, the PayPal email is a different email. Not a problem. Uh, oh, yeah, but you know. no rush. Don't worry about it. I understand the whole Christmas season and whatnot. Cool. Thank you but, uh, yeah, you guys have what are you a great buying night. tank? You're buying a what, roll cage or bumper? What are you buying tank? Uh, roll cage, roll cage for the uh, TFT. Ethan, Ethan, charge him triple, mate. Not be falling charge, him triple. No. charge him triple, brother. 
I am going to pay for it. I will pay oh, for amazing. it. I'm not asking for anything free. Absolutely oh, amazing. Okay. Actually paying for something. Of course. Unbelievable tank. Stand on the sweatshirt or something. I have a thousand RCs. They're all in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll, yeah, same uh, to you, Ethan. See you around. Good night. Good night. See you. Yeah. Yeah. JD Passel says he's got about a thousand RC. <laughs> Yay. The way he's going, he keeps buying. I mean, we'll get there. Oh, yeah. I can't even say that for UDR. Bills kill me every time. In the um, it would help the UDR wasn't so blasted expensive. Yeah, that's the fourteen hundred dollars here, ridiculous. Yeah, Ooh, we're at a thousand here, give or take. Yeah, yeah, kind of just horrible for prices. Actually, yeah. Hey, that's a little drone by your trailer. Yeah, do we have any quadcopter pilots out there? Hey, do we have any other pilots, quadcopter pilots? I don't call yeah. it a drone. I've, I've, yeah, I've I got one. Once upon a time, but yeah. I had a five inch last summer or the summer prior to this summer. Yeah, that's last summer. Cool. Yeah. Um, but this is a small two inch that um, it was a Fury B GT90. Um, but the frame broke the first day I flew it. So it's on a Flex RC frame. Right. I forget it. There's a new, re new receiver and transmitter in there. And yeah. Great, love it. I had drones. I sold them to buy cars. <laughs> oh, so weird. I've I've been into RC, kind of like I like into it on my level for like ten years. But I just got into cars. I think last year. Oh yeah. It's been boats and quads. Yeah, boats and oh. drones. I guess for so long. Boats are probably the least used ones. Oh, now I'm just into crawling like crazy. Oh. Crawler? Yeah. Crawler and not bashing or a little bit of both? You know what? I finally got a two-wheel drive Rustler on, with, with a one-eighth system in it. It's just crazy mm -hmm. power. Um, yeah. But I don't like bashing. No. no, no. It, it, it's fun no. sometimes to get out. I with only it. ever do bashing. Yeah. I, like to get I on do some track. bashing, but not enough. I mean, I, I don't like launch mine. 20 feet in the air. Well, actually, I did one time, but I ended up blowing up a lipo. Oh, I know, guys. I got a stunt concept for my channel next year. I can't wait to explore. Uh, I'm going to jump my house. You're going to jump yeah, your house? That's what you do. That's just crazy. Yeah, uh, I'm going to jump your house with a brushless 110 slash slim chassis with a 2200 KV brushless 6S lipo. Okay, Is that the same to... one you hit the pole with? No, that's going to be a new one. I'm building that one from the ground up to do just jumping, Sound just action. high jumping. Nice. What was that? Sorry, yeah, I said I need to have some sand or a fire extinguisher ready. I jump in the house. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Well, I got a river. It's going to probably land in the river behind the house, so it shouldn't be too bad. Jump the other way. Maybe a rescue boat then. Yeah, it's not it's not deep. It's about maybe. There's a few. I think there's a, there's a few videos I watched on people jumping their houses and stuff. Me, I want to jump my a barn, so I'm gonna put Ken Ken a um, Traxxas slash four by four jump a barn, and then I'm gonna have my Traxxas slash and a picture of a barn, and then when I jump the barn, it's gonna be my one tenth scale barn that I have at the back. Nice. <laughs> Well, the barn is is like it. big. It's 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 about four feet off the ground, and it's okay, about five feet by four feet. It's not more. Who asked about Troy before? Nice. The what? Who asked about Troy? Troy's in the chat. How's he? Oh, okay. Ethan, if you're watching, Troy's in the chat. Chat room. Mm. Mm. I've got three buddies who all have X maxes, and that's basically all they do. Just launch oh. them. 30, 40 feet in the air. It's gonna stupid. send it. Just gonna send it and break it. Like, what? And break it. Every yeah, time. The it's biggest like jump I did this summer uh, was my Stampede 4x4 from VXL. I launched out about 50 feet in the air and did four backflips. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. I landed Should on I... a roof and blew the Ford body to pieces. 
<laughs> yeah, still need a new body. Yeah, still waiting on a uh, WL Toys one two four two eight. There, the uh, the green buggy with like the uh, the Baja Ray rear suspension and the uh, pushrod front suspension, twelfth scale brushed. Yeah. That looked like a pretty good car. Reminds me of the Twin Hammers in a way. Yeah, I want to do that. If I do that, I'm gonna be. Um, I'd probably end up coming to your uh, event there. You might have during the summer. All right, perfect. That'll be fun. Yeah, I got yeah. some guys coming from New York. Uh, wow. Ontario, Manitoba, Moncton, Montreal should be a fun, uh, fun little event. Moncton, I'm be. pretty sure that's like ten minutes from where I am. Yeah, oh, it must be. No, you must not be far from there. Manitoba. No, I have family yeah. there. Where are you at, Shepherd? Uh, Alexandria, Ontario, North Glen. Oh, yeah, that's true. You mentioned that. So when you go to his place, you're gonna go by my place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I go by your your places. Actually, we're going up there for uh, Christmas because I have uh, a little bit of family that lives up there. So. Cool. Yeah, and, oh, here's, uh, my, here's my savage, my big beast. It's got a cage on it. Doesn't it. look like a savage. No, it does not look like a savage. So, got big one eighth uh, scale tires on it. Stars are big. But I was looking at the clutch, uh, the spur gear, but it's got the cap on it, so I can't really look at it. Okay, it, yeah, I have mine off right now. Okay. I'm pretty I'm sure the uh, the input shaft on it, where the uh, spur gear goes in the clutch assembly there, I'm pretty sure mine's uh, stripped because nothing holds it down. Okay. So, got to get one of those. I got the, uh, it's a long body on mine. It's like the uh, Savage XL. So, it's the extended body from uh, GCM Racing. So... It's a fun truck. It's a stupid fun truck. This thing go. Uh, to everything. I actually yeah, raised. That's what... Go ahead. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, when I got mine, because my dad's boss gave it to us, and it still had a. Uh, we got it like last sometime last year, and it still had a twenty-seven megahertz radio in it. Yeah. So I'm take. I take it out, and we. Uh, he basically he gave us a, a slash two-wheel drive XL5. A uh, an e Savage, you know the uh, little yellow ones, and the uh, Savage Flux, and we try getting them all working, but only the uh, the slashed work. So we're like, yeah, okay, whatever. So then we just leave them in a corner for like two years. So we go to um, we go to go pick it up again, and I plug in both the batteries to get the Savage uh, the Flux started there, and it's working fine. So I'm like, oh yeah, hey, we don't have to spend any money on this to get it running. Because the first time we tried starting it, we had it on our counter, but something happened and it malfunctioned and just rammed right into the wall. So, yeah, we didn't touch it and left it there for a while, and I found out how to use my uh, big charger. Plugged in the battery, started it up, and it, hey, it was working, but it wasn't steering one way. Right. So we had to go to the hot shop, get, uh, get them to fix it, and then I brought it back. First time for, like, properly, properly using it blows up the controller. Troy's in the chat. Sorry? Troy um, is in the chat. Somebody was asking for him earlier. So I think it was Ethan that was asking for him. I'm not sure. And yes, people, D, my camera is a very good camera. What sucks here is my internet speed. My upload speed to you guys is very bad. It's one only one meg because I live in the country, not the city. So uh, that's the reason why my stream to you guys is not good. But uh, how's mine looking? Yours is seems to be okay. Yeah, that would totally do it. All right. Yeah. Well, Zach, how's yours? Mine seems to be good. Yeah, it's a, a little blurry, but it's really not bad. It's running maybe 360p. 
No, it's not too bad. I'm in the country, but I'm not deep. Like, the city is maybe two minutes from me. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine, I live in, I live in the, the country, too. I mean, it's not, like, all forest where you guys are there, but town's, like, ten minutes away, and we have perfect internet. We have better internet here than that we had in the city where we lived, uh, like, six months ago. That's pretty good. Yep. Because I go doesn't mean you guys can stop talking. Yeah, I was just about to say this got yep. mega quiet, mega fast. I, I I heard you guys talking and talking about a subject. Now is the time for me to run away, put the RC back, and then come back to the to my seat. Well, I've had a very productive week working on my new uh, snow basher. Anyway, that's kind of fun. What about the snow yeah, lord? So Let's work really on the snow cool. Oh, the snowblower. I got to get some steel to get that thing started. I'm anxious to try that. Come on now. I am really, really anxious to try it. I told some guys I know, and uh, they really are, they really are anxious to see what it does. So I'm going to get some steel plate. I'm going to give it a go. Well, but I was told to get up every day at like 5 o'clock in the morning and plow mine in my neighbor's driveway. And are you wow. going are you going to do that? Yeah, when it snows. Why not? I can count it for community hours for school that I have to do. Cool. Yeah. I, really yeah, I wouldn't be able to get up at 5 in the morning. I go to bed at 2 in the morning. Nice. Yeah, what's great is that the only reason I can stay up this late is because I don't have school tomorrow, even though it's Thursday. I've got a uh, PA day or PED day, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I don't know those sayings too much. I was homeschooled all my life. Yeah, how's that? Oh, it's fun. Uh, not stressful. Not at all. Uh, now I'm in, uh, I'm studying at adult school to do sales and service. Sales and service on what? Uh, open a hobby shop. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. I also want to take up video editing since I have a YouTube channel and uh, a lot of people are saying I'm pretty good at editing, which is fun. First time doing oh, it. I just dropped some. You want to learn editing? Hop on my channel, mate. You'd be right. Come on, Jack. Yeah, what? I just noticed that my shelf queen is getting full of dust. I guess I got to dust it once in a while. It's a nice truck. I had the Galinda, too. Yeah. What do you think that that's the, right? um, look, at, look at how dirty my, uh, my workspace is here. The Toyota. Uh, what do you call this again? Land Cruiser. Yeah, Land Cruiser. I want one of those. It's a 40, isn't it? Pardon me? Yeah, it's a 40. It's a 40. It's like mine. Yeah. Hey guys, look how dirty my workspace is here. It's horrible. Yes, it is. And plus, it's all like sideways. I have bad. burn marks there. Picking on you because you're oh, yeah, cameras landscape. <laughs> Troy said, you, need to, you just need to drive a tank. I do drive it. I took it out um, three three times this year, I think. That's why it's, it's still a little bit dirty. And where, where's the dirt? Yeah, here. Show you on that side. See? That's from the water. I just lost yeah. a shock spring. You just lost a shock spring. Oh my God. See these marks there? Yep, I didn't got launched off the table. The trail. So, and my tires are dirty, a little bit dirty. I got it dirty. Uh, I got some scratches on the roof. Some goat scratch. But I'm trying to be careful. What's the fastest you ever recorded your RC at? What's the fastest I've recorded? Yeah, fastest speed that you've recorded. Not like that looked like 60 miles an hour, but like, does anyone record speeds? Yeah, I did on my with my Savage. I got a video uh, on YouTube with my Savage. I can't remember how many kilometers an hour I went with it, but uh, 
I think it was. <clears throat> I'd have to look and see how fast I went with it. I can't remember. Yeah, I recorded yeah, speed I in 2015 on my Slash VXL. It hit 110 miles an hour. Oh my fucking! Oops! Oh my gosh! That's how fast that one went. Oh yeah. Yeah, Are you and sure then you were on miles and not kilometers. Flash? Miles per hour was on my Spectrum uh, DX2S radio. It was recording with a RPM sensor near the spur gear, uh, the motor wheels near the wheels. Excuse me. What do you so, see motor were you running on that slash? Was it a two-wheel drive? Two-wheel drive VXL 3S running a 2S 100C 200C burst. Just a 3S, really? Wow. No, a 2S. Oh, I find that hard to believe. Really hard yeah. to believe. Nah, Zach, come on, man. You should have seen the gearing I was running. Nah, uh, the bigger than a spur or something. Speed, the speed guys don't even get that on 2S. <laughs> you you, no, you know I did. To... Guys ask me after. I said, I have no clue. It just it <laughs> whacked 110. Maybe the sensor was off. Well, I don't you're know. Using, but... You're using wheel telemetry and so on. So it, it it's... It's not a GPU. Oh, oh, oh. so that's just how fast the wheels come, rotated. Come on, come on, come on, no, Zach. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you had one of those uh, receivers that was recording something, just... hey, Shepard, Sh- Shepard, I'm, I'm, yeah. muted. I muted your microphone because you're making way too much noise. You're moving your phone uh, around. You're moving things around. So I muted your microphone. When you're finished making noise and you want to talk, then unmute yourself, please. G'day, John. Making some noise. How are you, brother? Get your um, etiquette together. Just try to be quiet because you were making too much noise. Thanks. Hey, John. Thanks for making it. Hello. Good. So how was racing last week? I didn't go. What? No, I didn't go. It was uh, it was our anniversary, wedding anniversary. So I spent oh. the weekend with the wife instead. Good call, very. Good. <laughs> yeah. Also, with the Canada Post strike, none of my spare parts came in that I ordered. So I was I'm like literally one break away from not being able to run anymore. So ah, there's there was no point. Okay. My CX-10 runs at five miles per hour. Well, that is just as far as I can walk in the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they designed it like that, right? I got myself a nice fancy mic now, so I'm running a, a mic stand, and I got my mic hooked up. And Oh, yeah, well, that's good. You're never going to hear the end of it. So now I, you can hear me better, and Jack can actually hear me better when I talk to him. I like I don't have to repeat because he is getting old. Um, yeah, that's correct. He's got headphones on; it goes right into his ears. So, yeah, well, but well, you should have. Well, you couldn't have seen, but when we were, before we started the live stream, he completely blasted my ears with a distortion. Well, that's because I was testing the mic. Uh, You're testing it out on me, yeah? (laughs) Because uh, I can actually adjust this. This is the USB adapter. So it's an XLR to USB adapter. But I can actually put some gain on this microphone. But the only thing I have is a a little light that tells me that I'm peaking. But I can't hear it. I don't have the volume. I got to make sure that somebody else tells me how it is. Mm. So I was blasting his ears. Yeah, a lot of dist- you certainly were. Does it have a separate power supply or is it just powered off USB? Powered off USB. So it, it supplies phantom power to my microphone supplies. And also it has a headphone out. I could actually use this because my computer sees this as an audio card. So I can actually uh, have a monitor. So I could actually build this to my to my put it on my belt yep. and have a headphone out and listen to what I'm doing. So yeah, but well, that's from yeah. it's, it's under a hundred bucks, a hundred under a hundred bucks Canadian, which is pretty good. How'd you afford that tank? Hey, how'd you afford that? What's the brand? That's a Shure Shure X U two. Then the microphone is extra on top of that, right? Yes, the microphone is extra. That's a AKG microphone. I got a sh- another Shure microphone, and I do have a bunch of different microphones here. Cool. 
I'm really into uh, high quality mics that are like noise canceling with triple mics and cheap. Well, microphones don't have noise canceling. They what, do, but what microphone has is a different pattern to actually eliminate noise. So, like this microphone, if I if I turn if I turn this microphone, you'll hear me less. But if I turn yeah. the microphone back towards me, you'll hear it more again. Because the pattern is in the front, not at the back. So it's going to reject the sound. It's not canceling it. It's just not listening to it. So a microphone yeah. doesn't cancel noise. Noise cancels. Yeah, that's the desktop. Eh? Yeah. I'm talking more like, I'm thinking more like Bluetooth headsets. You know, they, they always pick up so much. Yes. Other Bluetooth noise. headset with noise canceller. Yes. Yeah. I like that. I like I'm, that. Um, I'm always surprised by, by my audio because I'm just talking to my laptop. Uh, I don't have external mics. And it's when I listen to it afterwards, it sounds okay. Yeah, you sound fantastic. That's all right. Yeah. Good. Sounds all right. Wrong. I would give Plantronics a shout out if anyone's wanting like a really high quality little kind of like headset one ear. Plantronics 4200 or 5200 is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Or the Voyager Legend. Oh, we have some pretty good stuff. Yeah. That's a headset or just a mic? It's a headset. Um, you can actually buy the Plantronics Voyager Legend for forty Canadian dollars right now on eBay. Okay, um, that's the older model, the forty-two hundred, or you can buy the newer one, the fifty-two hundred. That's what I'm currently on. It's definitely the best uh, available. So, John, on Black Friday, what did you notice on sales? Did you look around and did you see any sales coming up for Black Friday? Yeah, I shared one out today. Canadian sales. Uh, mostly I've been looking on Canadian hobby sites for, for deals. Uh, the best deal that I've found so far is Big Boys with Cool Toys. And uh, according to their website, everything as of tomorrow will be tax-free with some additional items up to 30% off. But then they have a deal on today where you can get the Arma Centon 3S BLX, which is the their newest brushless short course truck, um, which is they're selling it for three ninety nine Canadian, which is its normal price. But then they're adding on like two hundred dollars worth of free crap. Uh, some of it's quite good. <laughs> so they're giving you like a hoodie, a t shirt, a lipo charger, a Gen's Ace 3S lipo hard case battery, a lipo bag, a bunch of charge adapters. Like it's a good bundle, and they're giving you all that for free. So. Uh, I mean, even if common, you, the bundle is very common right now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty you know, good. Market, like everything. You, even though they've kind of marked up the pricing of their extras that you get, I'd say you're getting at least a hundred dollars worth of extra stuff. That's, that's useful. It's pretty good. Funny. Cause the products that they're bundling in are about to lose mostly all of their value very soon. So you you look at those, they're like, Oh, this sounds like a deal at the current rates, but they bundle in stuff that's about to de to depreciate, to devalue or whatever. Yeah, our lipos get to get way cheaper soon because <laughs> lipos around here seem to hold their value pretty good. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> like uh, uh, having a um, the charger, a lipo charger, and the battery. That's 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 yeah. big. That's huge. That's what makes it a big win right there. Like that yeah. that battery is 120 bucks. Yeah, just a battery. Yeah, it's a three S, and I, you didn't yes, mention how many milliamps. Yeah. yeah, they don't have the C rating listed, but it's Gen's Ace, and I've been very happy with Gen's Ace batteries. Yeah, Gen's Ace is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's not some no name thing that they hooked up. <laughs> hey, so yeah, yeah I'm, you know, fingers crossed for uh, for like well, what's great hobbies doing tomorrow. I don't know yep. what's hobby hobby doing. Um, I got a bunch of tabs open waiting to see, but yeah. I'm I'm a bit of a sucker for deals, so that's what I was doing tonight. Was I was running around? I went to Best Buy and got some of their pre, pre Black Friday deals. Oh yeah. Ooh. Well, I went to Great Hobbies and I was talking to the manager there, and uh, I, it was Father's Day, and uh, I went in there and I went looking for deals. There was nothing there on the web and there, and there was nothing for Father's Day. And yeah. I, I went to him, how come you don't have deals? He goes, what do you mean? We have deals all the time, like for Thanksgiving or for Christmas or for whatever. I go, yes, you do, but not for Father's Day. You guys are a hobby store for your, 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 your fathers. 
<laughs> yeah. Nothing. Mostly, yeah. Father's Day. I'm disappointed. And he got mad at me. And, and, and then he goes, do you know how much my, uh, and then he started talking about profits and managing and running deals all the times and blah, blah, blah. And I go, I go, I know it's not your fault. It's, it's, it's your headquarters, but yeah. like it's father's day and, and these gifts here are for fathers. So to me, it's a perfect time to actually ask for something <laughs> like, yeah, great. absolutely. They should, I mean, every now and then I feel, feel like about like two to three times a year, they'll do 10% off everything. Yeah. And so I wish they would do it on all the major days, like uh, Father's Day, you know, Christmas, Black Friday. Um, but they had one, it was just a couple of weeks ago they did it. Of what, what was the last holiday or special day we had? Jeez, I'm blanking out on that. But they recently, a few weeks ago, had 10% yeah. off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Hope they do it again, but I don't know. We'll see. For us, tax free is thirteen percent off in Ontario, so that's significant. Um, so if Big Boys is doing tax off everything truly tomorrow, and their prices hold to what they are now, that's it's pretty good. It all depends what the shipping is going to be, because sometimes they mark up the shipping afterward. Yeah, I, I looked up some stuff today for that big bundle that I was talking about. If you were to buy that for four hundred bucks to get all the extras, it's uh, twenty dollars to ship it to your door UPS, which is That's good because we want to try and avoid Canada Post right now because they're they're not delivering. <laughs> it's uh, it's a problem. So yeah, it's very good. On the news tonight, they were talking about that the government is passing a law for them to go back to work. Did they do it? Yeah. Forcing them back. Yeah, they're forcing them back to go work. Yeah. I haven't gotten, uh, I've got one package in the mail, but I ordered a bunch of stuff in October and none of it has arrived. The same thing with me. I got two or three stuff that I ordered that I'm waiting for it to come in. Yeah. Yep. Likewise. Got to cut in here for a moment. I got to get off. It's really late here. What, are you talking oh, about? So 10, what time is it now? 10 20? Well, for me, it's like 10 15, but I got a big day tomorrow. I got some stuff to fix up. Yeah, not a problem. Oh. Thanks for jumping right. in. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, after that. yeah, bud. Yeah. Yeah, see you Cheers. later. Cheers, bro. Cool. So you have the Intimidator out there, your boat. How long is that boat? Uh, 30, 30 inch, 28. Yeah, 28. I pulled it out because it's a, it's a total piece of crap. Right? Anything that's made by a light hawk is pretty much crap. Oh yeah. Um, now why like, don't you like it? What's wrong with it? Oh, uh, it's just not high quality stuff. It's pretty cheap. Okay. It's just generally not considered hobby grade at all. But uh, this boat worked great for me. It came with three S battery. It's hopped up to four S. It was like nice. forty five miles an hour. Works great. Oh, quick. Yeah. yeah. You have more than one boat? Uh, I've got one other little tiny one. Because I, I don't have one yet, and I was wondering something like that, like what you have versus the jet boats. I don't know if you know anything about those. I don't, actually. Um, well, the jet boats are cool because you, they don't get hung up on, on weeds and things like that, like that one would. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It'd be like a jet ski, right? Just... And you can play where rocks are and things like that. But, uh Yeah. Maybe it'll be a small boat tomorrow. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> be, a good, be a good time to discount boats. Yeah. Everything's frozen. <laughs> what I don't like about boats is that they're very hard on the batteries. You need a very high discharge rate for those because when you're running a boat, it takes constant drain on the battery. It's not like the race car. Race car, a little bit not bad, but like a crawler. The crawler, you can run yeah. a battery on it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, you race car, it's nothing compared to a boat. And yeah. I, I had learned about that from RC Sparks channel actually, because he's done some boat stuff in the past. And I remember mm -hmm. saying that, like, if you go full pin for yep. more than a minute, like you will puff your batteries. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. And helicopters are the same way, or worst also for helicopters and boats. Those are the two that really are hard on batteries. Mm -hmm. Really, I think out of all of them, cars would be the worst. Nope. Yeah. Maybe for like for speed running, running, but. On a yeah, track, you're, you're letting off. Yeah, but you're talking about 3D helicopters. That, that, I mean, you don't get much run time with those. 
The only time a, a battery is going to be very hard on the car is when you're bashing with it. And if you're bashing in grass, that's the worst for an RC car. Like you take your 4x4 four four slash or your two-wheel drive and you go on the grass and it's not cut and it's a little long, it's really hard on the truck. Well, okay. I think it's just really any high traction surface. Yeah, and any high resistance to rotation <laughs> yeah, on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're raising, that's what's great now. Like you could hear, uh, you could hear it on on mine now because I just put the tire wraps around the tires there to make it better in snow, and you could hear it. Uh, it forces it a little bit. You guys watch the videos of guys running their boats on powder snow. Yes, on powder. I was snow. just about to ask oh, really? about that. Yeah, I haven't seen My that. does that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you give it a little kick, and then you hammer it, and it'll go for sure. Yeah, like uh, my brother had a boat like yours, the one you have out right now, and he was uh, uh, running that on the powder snow. It was cool. Oh, for sure. I've done it with this one. And, and again, this is a really, really cheap machine. Yeah. It's a toy. The, the only problem is if you're far away and you slow down too much and you stop, you, you're going for a walk. Yeah. That's what yeah. scares me about boats is having to recover it. Yeah. You know... Th I find actually being out on the water with an RC boat is the most relaxing of all RCs. Um, you just wow. don't have to worry about that, you know? I'll, yeah, I'll it's true. You don't need to worry about hitting trees boats. or nothing. It, it is, but I tend to disagree. I don't but you go flip out in the middle and go for a swim. That's true. I have done it many times. Yeah. Does that one you have self-right if it flips upside down? No. Once you get, uh, once they go over, like, I think 24 inches even, like, they can't self-right. It's just too much. They have too much weight to rotate. I mean, from what I know, I've never seen a big boat that can self right. They just don't self. -right. Hey guys, what time is it? Ten twenty. I got ten twenty here. Eight Two nine 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 train yeah, it's same as me. If you want a self riding boat that's super cheap, I would definitely suggest the WL Toys. Oh, my camera flopped. FT zero zero nine is the brushed version. Runs two S. Does self write, um, or you can get the FT one one two, which is the brushless version for a little more. Nice. Both have self writing. Is the yeah. real toys? Uh, is that good quality stuff? No, it's like the, the worst. Well, it's, it's the lowest quality. <laughs> it's just... it's no, but like not, probably, but not just boats. Hey, we have buy it, break it, fix it. That just come in the chat. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? I'm gonna... Some of the WL toy stuff is surprisingly good. Like there's the there's the one crawler that's like the twin hammers that people like a lot. The one two four two seven. I don't own it, but I've heard lots of good things. So yeah, I mean, I'm they... getting the, uh, the. Go ahead. Oh sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the uh, the one two four two eight. There, the green buggy. Okay. Yeah, that's that right. looks pretty cool. I think that's eight scale and a ten scale version of those. Yeah. Uh, if you guys uh, don't, I'm not sure if all of you watched my late last video when I was talking about buy it, break it, fix it. He's actually doing a giveaway and uh, giving out an RC truck. So I subscribe um, to both channels. Cool. Totally has Oswald Reef. Now, did you send an email in to actually I win? I did. I totally did. And he got back to me, bro. Yeah. Cool. I should check to see if T Bone Racing raffled off their thing. What do you think they got more subs first? Was it Jason? Jason, I think, was the name of the website or the YouTube channel. What day and time is it? It's Friday at 2.20 p.m. here, mate. Sorry, I'm just talking to Troy. Evo, yeah, right. His buddy's not at 700 yet. I'll go check what he's at. I did mention that when he's going to give it away, it's going to be when he's going to be at 700. Okay, can you read the chat? <laughs> I think no, I can't. I don't well, think they're, 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 they're stirring there. you up, mate. They're stirring you up quietly. <laughs> sure. Kagan looks like the dude from waking up, but at Bernie's is not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting uh, looking at a three-inch screen. Yeah, I don't have to move very much. 
I think a couple right, guys, of these guys. No worries, Josh. See you again. Later, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. We're just going to do the giveaway tomorrow. 700 was a goal. So Ben's saying that he's doing the giveaway tomorrow. Oh, wow. Good luck. And to you, sir. Great, great giveaway there, Ben. Good on you, mate. Yeah, bro. There's another, uh, I don't know if, if there, um, there's a raffle that's going on that, that they're drawing it today to win a Rustler 4x4 VXL. It's being hosted by T-Bone Racing and all proceeds are going to charity. So um, and I think it's like a dollar per ticket. There's no limit, but you choose what charity it goes to. So it, your money goes to either the Wounded Warrior Project, uh, World Vision, or Feeding America. They're all U.S. charities. And, uh, and yeah, so you're, it's uh, Rustler 4x4 VXL with uh, all the T-Bone accessories that are for it, so their front bumper and rear wheelie bar, and as well as the custom body. So it's pretty good. Oh, so, yeah. Anyway, fingers crossed that I win that. <laughs> for sure. And I like that all the money's going to charity, so that's cool. They're supposed to draw it today. So get yeah. in on that if you, if you want it. There's probably only a few yeah. hours left because it's already yeah. done. The Rustler is a fun truck. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun I two-wheel my Rustler. I'm actually quite the fool um, having bought this two-wheel drive Rustler used off a guy what, three months ago. It was a month before the 4x4 came out and the prices of the two-wheel drives dropped. Yeah. Yeah, total fool. So now you're either stuck with it or you got to sell it at a discount. Oh, you know what? I'm loving it. They don't have any aftermarket crap for the four by four yet, so I'm just loving my two wheel drive. Just you know, pump, pimped out, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to all the four by four accessories. There should be some cool stuff coming out for it. Um, the other thing about that raffle is it's open to worldwide. It's thirty dollars US for international orders if you win it. So that's pretty good. And uh, buy it, break it, fix it, and repeat is doing a, another special raffle. I believe he's going to advertise it. Um, I think it's Monday. He's going to start advertising. It's something special going on for Christmas, I believe. So um, he's going to do a video and publish it. I believe it's on Monday. And then um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, I'm not sure when, uh, he's probably going to jump in with me and we'll talk about it on uh, RC Talk. So it should be interesting. Yeah, he's in here somewhere, right? Yeah, he says it's a big giveaway. It's a big RC, so I don't know what it is, but he's got something big. He says it's big. It's coming and it's big. So. The Green Frog RC is not just a clever name. Mate, you're copping it today for some reason, Kagan. <laughs> right. Actually, if you want to study in Blitzer, mate, you're going to have to give me a grand for it, like I told you. <laughs> you have to take care of yourself and uh, get that I, back. I know you love that stadium blitzer, mate, and there's a few other people that do as well, but you're going to have to give me a grand for it. Grand? They yeah. re-released it, didn't they? You can get one that's... Uh, yeah, you can get the re-release, yeah, but... They, uh, yeah, but not the original. Jack's got the original. Yeah, I've Dude. got the original, but uh, Axia is uh, fell in love. No, cash or check, uh, no problem. PayPal will do, thanks, mate. PayPal will do. <laughs> PayPal will do. And, and I, I vouch for pretty I good for sure. A, I think it's because it's uh, the most people when they when they built the kit or whatever they they painted the body white, as you see. Now I think I've I, I think I haven't seen too many videos, but I haven't seen a blue one like my one that's painted. So it kind of pops a bit, the blue. Yeah, it's a good-looking truck. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. You know, I did a bit of fine tuning to it. I did the uh, steering mod. Yeah. Um, and uh, now it's it's the, the suspension's dampened pretty good. The back suspension's a bit stiffer than the front, yeah. but uh, now it, it it's it runs a straight line. I'm I'm quite surprised with the with the steering for how old it is, but uh, it's full ball bearing, which is great. Um, 
that's the first thing you do with a tomato is you just get rid of the bushings and chuck ball bearings yeah. in them. Yeah. Are the shocks but, uh, upgraded no, or are they still uh, stock friction? Yeah, yeah, the the stock. In the, uh, like I said, I'm I'm just quite surprised. It's uh, um, well, the shocks you have have oil in them, or they're friction. Yes, the, the, the damp dampening. Damping. Yeah. So, but uh, so they do have oil. Look, sorry. So they have oil in them. Yes. That's good. Yeah, but um, I had to put a couple of stops on the front. Good night, Troy. Uh, just to stiffen them. Just to stiffen them up. See you, Troy. Yeah, but no, look, it, it, I'm just uh, for, you know, uh, an older sort of car, uh, buggy, truggy, stadium truck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it, it. It handles pretty good. Um, I mean, on the wood chips, you can just go crazy on, you know, with any RC, really, Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like I did. But no, it... it, it you know, like I said, this, I'm quite happy with the steering because usually, you know, I've had a few Tomeo, well, a couple of Tomeo trucks and stuff, and the steering is always, you know, the worst. You got to do the mods and stuff on them, but no, it's uh, it's a good looking truck. It's not very big, you know, but um, I've got different wheels I can put on it because the fronts are ball bearing, so. Um, they're not heavy. You say it's got bad steering or whatever. Is that like just it's too easy to spin out? Or uh, usually uh, with the tomatoes, you've got to do steering mods and stuff on them because they're just so sloppy. Mm. Um, but uh, no, I did this little uh, mod that I saw. One guy, I think I forget his name. Um, he reversed the uh, steering, um, the the holders. Um, uh, he reversed them. He just changed them over left to right, and um, no, it, it worked quite good. And the suspension was a lot better as well at the front. And no, it, uh, no, I'm I'm for something like that. For what it is, it's uh, it, it goes fantastic. Like when I ran it on the road, just to see, you know, just when I first got it to test it out and see what it needed. It was, you know, I trimmed it up and everything, and it was fine. It just went a straight line. I couldn't believe it, um, especially with those tyres, you know, especially if you're running on the road. Um, but I've got different, uh, when I bought it, I've got different wheels with it, which is good. So I can run it on the dirt or on the road, which is great. Do any of you guys force understeer on two-wheel drive RCs by running really bad tires on the front and really good ones on the back? Nope, not me. No, I like oversteer. <laughs> mm. I've got this kind of idea in my head with this wrestler that like I'll be able to power and, and apply gas around corners if I'm just maxing understeer out with really sloppy front tires and really grippy back tires. Mm, you can try it, but I think you'll run out of con you'll run out out of control faster. And we're comparing here to whether you like the two scenarios are good tires up front and back, or bad tires up front and good tires in the back. Like, it all depends on the surface you're running too, because when I went racing with my two wheel drive buggy, when I was um, on clay. Uh, I had to run different tires than when I was on dirt. When you the two surfaces are pretty close to get close, but there's big enough difference that you really noticed a big difference when you're racing two wheel drive. Wait a minute, dirt and what else? Sorry, clay. Clay. Uh, a clay track. Yep. Yep. For sure. Like both of them are similar, but the the clay is is harder, and uh, they actually put pop on top of the clay. So that it would actually be more grippy it was kind of cool. What goes on the clay? Pop uh, some uh, like uh, soda. Soda, yeah. <laughs> soda. Soda. Um, like a gallon of cola. Yep. Uh, crush, right? crush orange or crush uh, the the pink one, the red one. That's the one no, that is more this sticky. Is, no, you're joking. Come on. No, no, I'm not joking. I'm sugar. Not, this is, it's like that. I wasn't born yesterday, guy. Come on. No, no, I am not kidding. It's true. 
they actually do that to make the track stickier and more the ants too. <laughs> it's true. Ask ask uh, <laughs> ask John, right, John? Well, I haven't heard a pop, but uh, there's another one that uses uh, like oil. I think it was like flaxseed oil or something. And at the uh, aviation, they used to do that all the time at the aviation on the outside track. You never went to that one? Um, not enough to see them maintain it. I only made it to a couple of events. I don't really remember. When I was there in the morning and they actually had uh, uh, those big uh, two liters of pop and it was actually the orange crush. And he actually just took it and he was spraying it all over the place. Then he went and get another one, spraying it. Was he, he just spraying his him. lane that he's going to take off from? Hey? Was he just spraying the lane that he's driving on? No, no. <laughs> he was spraying it on the straightaway and just before the corners. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. You still, yeah. You still pop on it's something. Do. Yeah. It could be like sugaring the track. Yep. Yeah. Which is another thing. That I haven't seen done, but heard about. Yeah, it's you guys got uh, that TSM on any of your vehicles or other things like electronic stuff? When when I was racing, TSM was not there. So, uh, and plus it was just starting uh, and it was illegal. On, on race tracks, you cannot use that. It's illegal. That makes sense, actually, a lot. But I don't know if it's still illegal or not. But You're not supposed to, but um, I, I find that a lot of the new, new people just come out with this new tracks and stuff, and it's on by default, and they don't know how to turn it off. So we did run into that a couple times uh, over the summer, but... It's no big deal. Usually the people who don't know enough how to tune it or turn it off are the people that need it. <laughs> so it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. You cringe when you see those guys walk into the hobby shop. You're like, oh. <laughs> RC Basher says, you mean training wheels? <laughs> kind of. Although it's kind of, it's cool technology. I do like the yeah. TSM. It's uh it's good. Just counter steers for you, and it doesn't uh, affect your throttle, which is nice. The first truck I saw that on was the actually the um, the Mini Eight, the low C Mini Eight. When it came out with that, that was cool. Mm -hmm. And they were comparing, and they had both trucks, and going down the hallway and just full throttling it. And the one that didn't have it was just doing donuts, and the other one just went straight. It was actually yeah. see. Yeah, that, that stuff's great for drag races, too. Yeah. Yeah. Just, wow, that was, yeah. I got to put that I, on my... I didn't do the driving for you, really. That, that reminds me. I'm going to have to put this. I'm going to put have to put that in this guy so it, it goes straighter, and I have less trouble keeping it straight. Uh, in which guy? Yeah. I'm not watching the cam, sorry. What was that? In which vehicle? I'm not watching the cam, so I couldn't see what you're talking about. Oh, sorry. It's on um, my big uh, rail drag racer. I got a drag um, dragster. Cool. It's a. Uh, it's about uh, a little over two feet long. What batteries do you run on that thing? I'll, on that one, I run uh, two. Uh, I run it on four S. So two two yeah, S cool. on here. Two in the series, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm running with my Rustler. It's just crazy. But there's not enough people here uh, making drag race. I want to try to get more people into the drag racing and get a, a little competition going maybe uh, two or three times, uh, well, two or three times a year at start. And then as we go on, maybe once a month during the summer summertime. Having a crew to, to meet up with at least once a month really, really makes or breaks the enjoyment level of the hobby by me. Yeah. Well, Facebook has really been helping, but it's getting the time that everybody gets off at the same time. And in the summer, it's hard because people are camping. So usually people that have RCs have kids and they're camping. So it's a little tough. The hobby shop in my city opens up a uh, evening indoor crawl all winter long. Once a week kind of thing. 
It's good. Yeah, that's true. RC Basher boy says he has um, AVC and he turns it off in his car because he doesn't find it as fun. That is true because like somebody was bashing on, I think it was with a rustler and he was on the street on during the winter. It's and fish tailing is so fun. Like you're, you're fish tailing down the, the road because it's so icy. But as soon as you turn that on, there is no more fish tail. The truck just wants to go straight. And it's not fun anymore. So yeah, you kind of want to drive the damn thing, right? Yeah. How do you pronounce it? T ball. Jack, you would know. Yeah. I am. Yep. Yeah. He fish tailed his street with snow. Yeah. I'm going to order some snow um, sled paddles from the, the front on my wrestler and some paddle wheels or skis for the front and paddle wheels for the back. Yep. Give that a go. Yeah, I have a set of those on my uh, two-wheel drive flash right now. Which brand did you go with? Uh, what is it, T-Bone or Entergy? Uh, no, the one I have is from uh, Proline. The skis? The sled skis? Uh, not skis. They're uh, tires, but with a kind of a straight paddle. I'll show you. Hold on. Oh, yeah. The paddle tires. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I got you. Yeah, but the paddle tire, but the front one is actually a, it's got like a, a, ho- a mohawk. Mohawk. Yeah, there you go. Call it let a me mohawk. Come and look. Let me come and look if you're grabbing it. Just like a single ridge runs down the center of the tire vertically. And it runs out like a mohawk. Really? How many, uh, like what, a quarter inch? Three eighths? Actually, it looks like there's a couple of them. So here's the front tire. Quarter inch. Here's the front tire here. Ah, uh, uh, I it's see. Got a, it's got a big paddle in front, kind of. I'm trying to show it off, but that's the pro line. And then at You the don't back, remember what it's called? At the back, it says just a paddle. It says it's called a mohawk. mohawk. Mohawk tire. Oh, it's called mohawk. Cool. And which uh, which of the paddles did you go with the um, the it's dual? Paddle. It's the one for the slash. Like, does it have single scoops or is it the dual? Because I know that there's like dual flap, dual single. Just just a single. Cool. It's the Traxxas that actually has the uh, double in it, but these have the singles. Yeah, we have that on. I think I'm going to end up getting the singles too. But right now the the snow is not packed enough. It's too new. As soon as you put the RC in it, it just sinks because yeah. there's way too much uh, snow right now. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. There, was that a flash 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 What was that? Was that a slash with that on there? That was a two wheel drive slash. Yes. You should get the sleds up front, the skis from Intigi. Oh, I. I, I well, I, I could get the skis from Intergy, but I did make my own pair of skis. Interesting. Yeah, how that work? It worked out pretty good. They're right here. You got You're going to show it? I'll come back and look. Because I have thought about doing that, too. So the bracket. Are from, these are from Great Hobbies, and the bump is high enough that what I did is I just drilled it out a little bit bigger. And the uh, the I take Can off you hold the it higher. It's like where the people's faces are. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. That's I better. Take off the hex. Let me present. So I take off the hex. I drilled it out a little higher, and the wheel actually just uh, the axle actually just goes right into it. So it turns out pretty good, and it worked pretty good. I got a video on my YouTube channel that uh, talks about it, and I have a running video of it, and it worked I will pretty check good. That out. And these cost me, uh, I think they were 12 bucks, I think, for the pair. So they were white. You bought the skis and built the adapter attached. Yeah, okay. Well, there's no adapters to actually get. You just take the wheel hex off. I just drilled this a little bit bigger and put the the axle right into it and put the nut back on. Nut it on, yeah. Okay. So just for a uh, random plane? Hey? They're just, they're plane floats? or plane skis? Yeah, plane skis for planes. There are yeah. four airplanes. They're the ten inch, I think they are. Okay. Cool. Go from the web and find the the plane skis. I think they're ten inch. Yeah, ten inch. Actually, ten and a half.
but I've been thinking about getting the Intergy or the one that uh, RC Spark got, the, the T-Bone, I think. Is it T-Bone? Yeah. yeah, they make some. They probably mm -hmm. was. They were decently yeah. priced. We'll see. We'll see what's on special or not. Yeah, so uh, happy Thanksgiving, Keegan. Thanks. What, uh, is there any good sales happening in the U.S. tomorrow for RC? Uh, um, I just noticed Horizon Hobby had some items on sale. Nothing stood out to me. I didn't really look too much. Sorry to go backwards here, close. but... Oops, sorry, dude. Go ahead. No, no go for it. Uh, just before we move on, the T-Bone ones aren't loaded with a spring. The Intigy skis are spring-loaded, so they always force the flap down. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. If, I think that explains the price difference, but yeah. Sorry, man, you were saying? Um, nothing important, just a Horizon Hobby sales, 50% off certain cars and stuff. That's about all I saw. Not really looking for any new cars at the moment. Nothing's popping out at me. Yeah. Some of the armors are looking cool. But... Some of the which RC, RC, RC Basher says that he's jealous. He says West Texas barely gets any snow. You know, if you really want snow, we could give you some snow. We, I'd rather not get snow and, and, and get some yeah. good weather than snow. Rather not have this much snow in November. That's ridiculous. That's true. It's been like in the till the 70s until we, like back in late 70s, we didn't have that much snow early in the November. It's crazy. We didn't have a fall. We had summer and right after we had winter. We yeah. did not have fall this year. Got a good week of fall in. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wrote to Gabs. If it makes you feel any better, we don't get no snow. <laughs> I'll be posting up a video tomorrow of some some snow bashing. A little bit. Okay. I watched Jorama ramping with uh Ramp. last night. Yeah. 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 And uh, you broke the front end. Um the drive, the rear drive shaft popped out. Yeah, the, yeah, the the chassis must have flexed like a banana, mate. Yeah, that's what I was trying to try yeah. and see if I could feel the flex in slow motion, but it didn't come yeah. through. Yeah, it was, uh, well, it was like it was just the the um, the drive. Uh, yeah, because that, yeah, that took, no quite, a, it it took quite a beating. Well, it took quite a beating while you were hitting it. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, and uh, I watched your gimbal video as well. Uh, with the uh, weather conditions. Yep. Yeah, that was kind of weird. What do you think of that gimbal anyway? Looks all right. It's my favorite one. Yeah. It's, what are they? What are they worth? Your, your price is the same as ours, so. Uh, oh, in in like our prices, it's one hundred and fifty in US. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah, Canadians the same as us. Yeah, the dollars like about the same. Yeah, one fifty. Uh, yeah, you get a lot of feature, features for one fifty. It's the the wireless yeah. phone mount is is yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it has the it has some of the heaviest duty motors of any that I've tested. So it'll lug around like a plus size phone or even a small point and shoot camera like an RX one hundred. It would yeah, compact. It's gotta be compact, yeah. Yeah, you'd yeah. have to balance that out though. You'd have to model. Yeah, you do. You? Yeah, you'd you, have to put you, some weight. No, that's what I mean. Even no. without adding weights, it'll it'll hold on to my point and shoot, and it's a oh. fairly hefty one. Um, yeah, mm. yeah, I was surprised. They put some beefy components into that because I have another one, and it it will, it, you know, it's you got to add weight if you're going to put anything. Well, I saw the I saw the mods on the um, Smooth Q how people were putting the compact cameras on, and they had to put weights and this and that. But I thought. Yeah. They won't last long. They'll just burn the motors out in the end. Yeah, I think too, if you're too, too low yeah, just too much really. weight, you know, because they still weigh a bit, even though they're compact cameras. Oh, yeah. And you're adding more weight to balance them out, and 
blah, blah, blah. But I said, look, it's a, still a good concept to do if you want to put a compact camera on a gimbal. Yeah. You know? Anyway, so yeah, I just ran it tonight and I got myself a new iPhone because they were on super sale. So now I've got the 8, which has wireless charging, like a capability built right in. So I don't need that weird adapter anymore that I showed. Um, mm. We'll see. And, and that phone now does 4K 60 and 1080p 240. So we'll see we'll see if I can get some better better quality out of it. Mm. Oh, well, the footage looked all right to me. I mean, yeah, on my the old iPhone, oh. great footage, but I uh, figured might as well take the, take the deal for the upgrade. I can sell yeah. my old one for more than I paid for the new one. But you're, you're upload, when you do your slow-mo, you're uploading in 60p. If you knock it down to 30, it'd be more smoother, like I, I explained in, in one of the Hangouts. So um, if you ran, render it out in 30, yeah. uh, they'll, your slow-mos will come out a lot smoother. You can, you know, you're filming in a high frame rate, but if you knock it down, because yeah, yeah, I guess come out real smooth. No, it still come out right. Um, if you're doing normal shots for 60p and then having a couple of slow mos here and there, I'd just leave it. But if you're going to do a lot of slow mos, I'd I'd go down to 30. Yeah, I'll play around with that. See, see how it yeah, works but it out. looked all right. It didn't, you know, it looked, looked pretty fine to me. I mean, it was pretty gloomy, of course, but <laughs> yeah. But that that armor, you smashed that, right? You, you given that a bit of a bit of a workout. Yeah, good durability testing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they can take a bash in those things. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know? But the because yeah. you put a, you put didn't you put it didn't you mod that chassis? Because I saw when you picked it up, you you put a didn't you put a brace so it doesn't flex too much? It, it comes with that. It has that. It came with. Yeah. yeah, I've added the front bumper. Like without a front bumper, I probably would have broken the front A arms off because yeah. it hits the wheel yeah. first. Because yeah, that well, landing you did on the front was a was a beauty when it flipped. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was, was a good hit on that front bumper. That's an RPM front bumper, and it took most of the impact. And then the back of the chassis. Yeah, that was heavy duty. Because <laughs> you, know, you got a pretty good, you got good air on that jump. Yeah. Surprising sometimes how much air I can get out of that. Also, the the ground like drops off behind it. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. RC well, Bash Rose has a question. Mm. Yep, I got a question Bash for you, Nigel. If you had to pick receivers, which one would you pick, for Taba? Oh, I'm a Fataba man, so that's a no-brainer for me, mate. I'm a Spectrum guy. That's a no, no, you can have you can have your you can have your Spectrums. Mm -hmm. I'm always a Fataba for years, mate. I've, I've had, had spectrum for years and and out. no problems. No, I've had sp oh, well with my planes and when I had my spectrum uh, transmitter, uh, I had brown ants and all they were, they were their receivers. Planes are just flop dropping out of the sky. Is it spectrum have, always John? just slightly more expensive? Which one do you have, John? Uh, it depends. It depends on the models. They're, they're... I'm thinking most of my experiences with the quadcopters, but I thought uh, spectrum protocol usually is a little more expensive. Ah. Uh, and the fancy radios always are, are Spectrum. Yeah. They're not Fly Sky yeah. Protocol or FR Sky. Yeah. So my vote's a little bit controversial because I just buy all Traxxas receivers. So I do not have a fancy Surface radio. I use the so, Traxxas so, TQI. So, I, put, oh, yeah. I put the Bluetooth module in it, and then I've got the app on the phone that lets me configure all my settings, have multi-model memory, do everything mm -hmm. I can do on the fancy computer radio. And all I have to do is buy the TSM receivers. Also, then I get the option of running TSM in all my vehicles too. So, I don't know. I'm happy Same with, with Castle. That. Same with Castle Creations with their uh, Castle Link. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's all you need. So yeah, everyone makes fun of me at the racetrack for for running Traxxas radio, but I have yet to run into something that those fancy radios can do that I can't, that I need. Um, I think the biggest thing would be having more channels. And if you Extra don't need channels? them, you don't need them. Yeah. Yeah. So when you buy like a Summit, you get a four-channel radio. Yeah. So you're you're good to go there. <laughs> oh damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You buy like a Summit or a TRX4, you get a four-channel TQI radio. Yeah. Well, every time I see a Traxxas radio, somebody's getting rid of it on the forums or on the thing. I'm always trying to buy it or a receiver or something from Traxxas. I 
people are getting rid of it and replacing it with Spectrum. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the Traxxas. So I sometimes try to jump on it as much as I can. Yeah. With my quadcopters, I'm cheap fly sky protocol. Love it. Works great. Yep. I have I fly sky also. AF, AFHS2A or something like that is the tech term. Oh, yeah. Hey, Randy, Sir Shrimplot just joined us in the video. Good hey, Randy. Randy. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome. What do you got there, John? Uh, this is my TA07 race car uh, for her US GT. I was just fixing up. The, I forgot the steering link had broken on it, so I was just fixing that up. But it's uh, it's an Aston Martin uh, EB9. Cool. What scale? What do you got, do you got there? Tech 4. Oh, the Mustang. Mustang, Mustang TRX 4. Or uh, Fortec. Is it? Yeah, yeah. the Fortec. Oh. When did you get nice. that? Just got it yesterday. Cool. cool. Is it the brush or the brushless? It's brushless now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Good. Cool. So what would you put in it? Castle? Uh, actually, I had a uh, yeah, just a taser system kicking around but I wasn't using. Yeah. But it's still it's a six pole, uh, 3,000 RPM, or sorry. I'm tired. Three thousand maybe. It'll run on three cells, so it's already faster than the uh, Traxxas system. Yeah. But I do have a white eight system to put in it later when I want to go really fast. Cool. Ooh, an eight system. If that started out as a brushed car, it has a couple of weaker components. Uh, the center drive shaft, I think, is weaker than the brushless one. I love eight systems in 10 scale. <laughs> but I haven't had a problem with mine. I did the same thing. I have the original Fortec 2.0, the Ford GT that was brushed, and I put a brushless system in the mine. 5700 KV 3S on all stock internals. I've had zero problems. That car has had zero breakages. It blows my mind considering how much power I've put into it and the crashes that I've gotten into, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a good car, those things. Tanks. Did somebody say thank? Yeah. Thank you need one. Yeah. I got a tank up there. You've got the Hoonicorn. No, well I got the Hoonicorn, but I I mean I do have a RC tank here. Yeah. Yeah, that too. But the Hoonicorn is fun. Do you have a tank like RC Sparks? No, that's a big tank. Mm -hmm. Mine, I think, is the one sixteenth. I've been meaning to watch that. I haven't watched any of his stuff lately, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the last one. It's you a, guys see these Germans building like uh, the excavators and stuff, buying brooder toys and like making them RC. Oh yeah. the hell did I see? I think it, there was a... I don't remember the scale. It was just stupid. It was like 156 scale or something. Hmm. I'm not sure. They were so small that like the cha like the challenge, you looked at them and you're like, well, how does it even work if it's so small? <laughs> Break in silence. It says he's got a red cat lightning. Goes about 60 miles an hour. Okay. Like those commercials for Kia. <laughs> you guys are funny with your remote controls. He, um, Lewis says uh, he for um, he doesn't use TQI or Spectrum or whatever. He uses a hamster and a dog whistle to control his RC trucks. That would be a nice trick. I'd really like to see that. Cool. So, Randy, did you take your Ford out yet for a ride? 
all the uh, Traxxas? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, no. You, you got it set up like in a photo booth, ready for pictures. Oh, I took a couple of them. I got it ready. It's kind of cold out here to drive them. So I don't want to chance it uh, hitting anything hard when it's cold. Did you did you run it at all when it was brushed? Uh, I, I took it out when it was brushed, and I played down at a, a track down at Extreme. Yeah. And then I put the brushless system in it, which was just night and day. Yeah. What pinion did you go to? Uh, I'm running the stock one right now. I do have the uh, – it came with the 25 high speed. Yeah. Throw the 25 in. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will be throwing that in. I, uh, I I geared mine right up right up to 28, even when it was stock, and it handles it, and it's it's good. It'll still spin all four tires, even with the tallest gearing on it. Okay. I just checked on them. The motor's actually it's a 3300. Yeah. And it's a six pull. The ESC oh. 65 amps. So. Wow. But I mean, it's it's better than the uh, one that Traxxas has in theirs. For sure. Yeah. So. I will put something else in it later, but I think with the high speed, I should be able to get it up to 70, no problem. And that's cool. my um, it'll be close. Uh, you, may, you might not hit 70, no, because I have I have the 28 tooth pinion in mine, and I have a, I have a brushless system in it as well, 5,700 kV on 3S, and I could only hit 60. So I think you got to put the smaller pin, a uh, smaller spur in if you want to go above sixty. Yeah, I can also go four cell too. So, oh yeah, <laughs> that too. Our RC Basher boy wants to know uh, what's the uh, another question. What's your opinion, brushed or brushless? To depends me, depends what you're run <laughs> depends what you're running. <laughs> yeah, but if you yeah. have the money, go brushless. But if you don't have the money, go brush. But yeah, it's there right. might be some a subset of crawlers out there who would be like, "Nope." Yeah, I agree with that. Well, yes and no. With the new motors, now, with Sounds the new good. motors that they make for crawlers, they are so sensitive and they have they so it. much torque. They're actually built very good nowadays. It's not like the first brushless. You got censored brush motor Sensor, made yeah. for crawlers that have the high torque. Uh, they're it's they're true. just amazing. It's true. Yeah, they do I think they really yeah. put in a brushless, a good brushless system in a crawler though is a lot more than just going brushed for minimal benefit on crawling around. I don't know. Um, brushless well, is always better for sure, but you got to factor in the cost. Well, yeah, like a, a brush system on a crawler is going to cost you with the ESC and motor might cost you fifty bucks, like fifty dollars Canadian. Uh, that's thirty dollars for the ESC and another fifteen dollars for the fifteen or twenty bucks for the motor. But a good brushless system for a crawler will end up costing you maybe two hundred and fifty bucks. So, yeah, the big price. It's true, and it doesn't improve your crawling. No, it does not right. improve. Yeah, that's the thing. It gives you. It makes it kind of. It gives you a higher trail top speed as if as if yeah. you had a two uh, two speed uh, transmission, but. Not necessarily true. No way. Eh? Especially with some of the crawler systems coming out. I I'm running the on system which motor, on yeah. my trucks already. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And the 1800 kV axe system is slower on two cell than the brush motor that came in the Ford Bronco. Wow. Huh. The 2300 brushed on two cell was the same as the Traxxas was stock with the brush with the uh, brush system. On uh, three cell, it was the exact same speed. Yeah. Right. What's the advantage of having the slower brushless system? Just more torque? Uh, what? Okay. Less money. A lot of my <laughs> a lot of my trucks are very heavy. Okay. My Willys, oh. I used to run just brushed well 45 turn burn that out 55 okay. burn that out right two cell mm -hmm. not enough speed out to do anything but it just didn't have the torque for the weight and the gearing that i was limited to so i had to go brushless with it yeah i, I run the um trailmaster ble from home's hobby in it with a uh 2400 
and I've run that thing for the last like two and a half years with that motor combo. And I run it everywhere. Like, the amount of runtime on that truck is just insane. But the I like I like a lot of different systems. The Mamba X is nice, but a lot of people when they put one in, they're going for more speed or punch. And yeah. crawlers don't need that. Yeah. We need slow control. The new crawler system from Castle works really well. The axe system is really nice. It's a lot of people gave it a very bad review, like John Hope. But uh it really worked well. The axe system is castle. Hmm. Uh the hobby wing axe system. Hobby. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought it was awesome, but then you're talking about castle, so I was confused well, there. Yeah, the castle works really nice, but the hobby wing, I can sit there and really go down slow. It's like I'm almost going tooth by tooth on the pinion. Yeah. I've heard that axe system has like built in Bluetooth connectivity too, so you can tune it just yep. from your phone, which is cool. I can tune it to my phone. That's not a problem on the fly. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, that's nice. It's got the F. The only thing I don't, I don't like is the FOC system. It's good for some times and for some people, but bad for others. What, what's FOC? Um, it's a it's like a, it's like an RPM control system they put in it. Okay. Okay. If you took one of your RC trucks and you put it upside down on the table, and you set your trim on your radio so the wheels were moving, okay? Yeah. And you went and you pinched your axle with your fingers, you could stop your wheels from turning, right? Yeah. You can't stop mine. Oh, because it's, it's trying to constantly keep that RPM the same? The ESC will automatically give it more power to keep that RPM the same. Now, it's really good on a downhill. Instead of it working like a drag brake, it's almost like a jake brake. The motor is actually put, doing almost like a reverse brake to it. But on okay. a climb, it'll hold... How the is that different from a drag brake? Steady. The downside... If I give it to like my grandchild to drive and they get a wheel stuck, unless they get off the throttle, it will snap the wheel off the truck. Because it will give it power no matter what. Yeah. And if you're not used to it, you break stuff real quick. Can I get a high five from anyone else who just swaps between a 27 turn for trailing and a 35 turn for crawling? Okay, right, sure. Sure. I guess depending unless, on your truck and how easy your motor is accessible. Unless you buy Kenyan with the 60 turn. Like so all my trucks are heavy, so they've all gone brushless. Cool. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. You don't want to be burning out motors all the time. My Willys is like 12 pounds. 12 oh, pounds? And I got underdrive gears in the axles. with a single speed transmission and it crawls really nice Randy, randy's heavy duty mate da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, heavy duty the middle man cool well guys it's past 11 o'clock uh, we're gonna end the live stream We've been on for two hours. Uh, we'll keep discussing, uh, have an open discussion here. Um, but some of us are going to be leaving. So thanks for joining. Uh, we'll go do a round table to say goodbye. And we'll start off with Jack. See you later, guys. Guys in the chat. And Axiomatic, when you've got the 1000 bucks, mate, just come and uh, see me. <laughs> and Jack. John, say bye. Bye, guys. We'll go to Joe. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for jumping on, Joe. Really appreciate it. Um, and then Say hello, we'll go to Green Frog RC. See you, guys. With his glasses on tonight. Steve -o. Peace. See you soon. We'll, Peace. Yeah, we'll go to uh, Randy because he just joined in. Now we're shutting the door on him. Bye. Hey, yeah, bye. Next week, maybe. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for jumping in, and um, we'll see you next week on RC Talk. Talk to you later. Bye.